Hi gamers, welcome to another episode of Unplugged Gaming uh, where I uh, talk about some of my favorite games outside uh, video games. This time Talisman, the magical quest game. And now Talisman, it's, it's a pretty old game. The first edition came out uh, in 1983, so it's almost a 30 year old game. Uh, and uh, what we have here is the fourth edition. The second edition followed uh, pretty soon after the first and the third edition came in 1994. So, and uh, this came out in 2008, so there was a big gap here. Uh, and uh, it was originally made by Games Workshop, uh, uh, who also make uh, Warhammer games. Uh, but this fourth edition was uh, picked up by Fantasy Flight Games, who make some pretty uh, darn nice uh, uh, games, great looking, great production values, and I'm, I'm glad they picked up Talisman as well and have produced uh, many expansions for it. First here we have the game box for the uh, game itself, and there has been a, a total of six expansions three large ones, the Dungeon, the Highland and the Dragon, as well as three smaller ones, the Reaper, the Sacred Pool and the Frost March. The big ones, uh, uh, the standard uh, game board uh, is uh, like this, but the big expansions uh, expand uh, the game board as such, uh, so they add in uh, you know, a corner here you can uh, use this if you want, or <laughs> here you can see that if, uh, if I put in both the corner expansions it doesn't even fit into my kitchen table here, so <laughs> uh, space might be uh, one reason not to use this, but uh, I think they add greatly to the adventure here. Uh, the third expansion uh, was uh, uh, when it was uh, all uh, uh, done uh, by Games Workshop they had uh, produced uh, uh, an expansion for all the four corners as well as built uh, a dragon's tower here in the middle in the fourth expansion uh, or fourth edition we have this uh, double-sided game board here that you can uh, put in to replace the end game here in the middle of the board again something that you can do if you want if you have the time, uh, adding, uh, you know, using all these expansions uh, greatly. Uh, I don't know, I guess uh, it makes it, uh, it can make it a shorter game, but usually it just makes it a longer. <laughs> and, uh, but to me, the meat of any board game is the accessories, and uh, <laughs> Talisman really doesn't disappoint. First of all, you can see that there's, uh, when all the expansions are counted together, uh, we have over a thousand cards and uh, there really isn't uh, a turn in the game where you don't draw a card. Uh, tons and tons of cards uh, uh, going all around. You've got equipment cards and spell cards and adventure cards and everything. So great fun. You always get to draw a card. And uh, you move with uh, these, these dice, uh, of course, and uh, go about the game board. Uh, Amassing, uh, you know, uh, building building up your character so that you're strong enough to face the perils of the uh, inner circle there. Uh, but basically, it's just adventuring, encountering things uh, that pop up uh, in the cards. Uh, you can pick a pick a fight with other players uh, players as well. But uh, I don't I don't like that. Uh, as much uh, I just like to adventure on my own so no killing other people in my games <laughs> and uh, yeah, in addition to a uh, thousand cards we have just about 500 other components uh, markers and uh, uh, gold pieces here with a nice uh, nice sound when you drop them and uh, uh, again some more markers some more cards and of course, uh, just about uh, uh, under 50 unique characters that uh, you can choose from, or you can, uh, you know, uh, 
draw a lottery at the beginning of the game so uh, nobody can pick the best uh, character and always win the game so there are uh, different uh, abilities and strengths and weaknesses to all of these characters and uh, uh, basically uh, this much variety in the characters means that there no no game is the same well I guess a thousand cards also mean that no game is the same but Talisman it, it really is a great adventure and uh, great fun there is uh, there's quite a bit of uh, uh, luck I guess involved with the game and uh, it might be that some of the more hardcore uh, uh, board gamers don't uh, necessarily uh, like the game that much but to me it's uh, well of course it's uh, it's, uh, it's a blast from the past uh, I, I used to play the second edition a lot with my friends it was even so popular it was uh, translated into Finnish as well but uh, I don't know, the luck uh, is it's a big part, uh, a big uh, positive thing in the game uh, because uh, even if you're down on your luck you can still come around and win the game. Well usually not, but, but still everything is possible. Uh, even if you're ahead in the game you can still die, so uh, you have to be careful. And uh, yeah, the Talisman uh, it generates great stories. You can go into a city and pick a fight and get squashed by a troll or make a raft and uh, cross the river and uh, you know you just have to uh, illustrate the adventure in your head so that's something that uh, board games have uh, uh, over video games in my opinion. Great stuff. So if you need a slightly casual uh, board game but that still has lots of uh, depth to it and lots and lots of components I, I can warmly uh, recommend Talisman. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.